Hello everybody, my name is Ultra and welcome back to my redirect reaction and what an what and what great episodes my brain just died there. What great episodes we just watched together and uh I had told you guys that I'll be doing a little, like uh everything in between for Steven Universe. But really what we kind of like what I kind of missed out on or you know what I kind of forgot to react to was uh, the whole Lars arc where he's still in space and he's trying to kind of uh, like you know uh, find a way back home or something or he can't come back home because you know he's, he's pink you know essentially anyway um, I do find that you know it's all obviously building to something and 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 there's also like mixtures of like emotions and, and overarching uh, themes and all that uh, but of course the the main two ones that play into it is the first uh, the first part which is essentially just um, lapis lazuli uh, who you know is afraid of the the diamonds coming back and kind of like interrupting everyone uh, you know um, but like she was she was scared of going back because like um, you know she doesn't know, even know if the um, the diamonds would come after her or you know even the crystal gems but uh, you know it, it, it isn't that you know it's just her own paranoia and her own anxiety uh, but the second part obviously was more you know interesting in the fact that you know we had a big reveal and obviously spoilers if you haven't watched my full reaction please go to my uh, dead motion which is in the link in the description below and um, you know it's, it's it's more on the the thing where I, I'm just like it does come to a point where it has been overarching um, in a lot of ways and I find that it has a lot to do with one's emotions and you know this, this show is all about emotions and all that and why I'm saying that is because it all comes into play for this emotion at, at the end of it and you know I, I think it makes like a lot of sense when you we, when you put everything together and you add everything together and it all comes down to a total list of what you had and obviously I'm uh, obviously I'm talking about um, the reveal of uh, Pink Diamond to being Rose Quartz um, and that was you know a twist but uh, overall I could see that kind of happening because like you know uh, probably Pink Diamond was the youngest of the group and kind of like trying to see things in other people's ways and all that and uh, her changing into Rose Quartz form is maybe you know trying to you know do that you know, the whole undercover boss thing um, and yes again if you haven't seen my uh, full reactions my finger is black because I voted in our elections today uh, the Malaysian general elections was today um, but yeah coming back to Steven Universe um, I do feel like we're gonna have to have uh, Lars come back at some point maybe in the future episodes but we're not sure yet um, and I'm sorry if I kind of like leaned uh, in, my, in my second part of it, but I was just you know chilling. Um, yeah, I'm 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 just like that when I'm watching when when I'm watching shows. Um, and for me, I I just really like that you know they they do take things more and more and more maturely. Like I mean, there is something to be said when you are teaching kids that it's okay to have these types of feelings but it's also important that you understand them uh, and you know it, it's also the, the thing where I was like <sighs> it's something of a mixed bag for me because it's a it's a whole psychological game at this point because at, at one hand you know I understand why you know Rose Quartz and Pink Diamond did it and on the other hand I, I do feel it's kind of irresponsible not for Rose Quartz slash Pink Diamond to explain to the Crystal Gems before she did 
everything that she did. Um, I mean, essentially, the the whole rebellion then was just uh, kind of like a, you know, uh, um, just a, kind of like a distraction at a point, you know. And um, I I think for me is that um, you know Stephen is is a person who who does learn from a lot of you know his his actions and his consequences i haven't seen connie too much actually uh but the whole you know trip to large was essentially just kind of maybe you know his point of trying to fix a mistake that he made not really a mistake but like kind of like you know a forced hand situation where you know he had to sacrifice uh, Lars to to a better you know to a, a better kind of consequence than the one presented in front of him so it's one of those things where you have to look at it and go well you know he is trying his best to be a better person than you know than the other you know gems that haven't had a good reputation on her so i definitely think that comes into play as well um for me i think you know the the bigger episodes are the one which pack like a real punch like this 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 the one with uh, Ro, uh rose and uh, pearl really packed the punch so i do really enjoy that and of course i do miss the the song numbers they did it because you know it's it's a lot on the it's on those like jazz uh, slash you know early nineties early twenties like you know like uh, just jazzy pop uh, kind of thing where it's like um, it's it's like airy floaty you know music and I and I really enjoy that so. Um, and I think for me what I, I'm, I'm expecting from Steven Universe is, is more on that theme of like family and, and wanting to understand your existence and, and more on like the dynamic of because like we, we have seen glimpses of the dynamic between the Crystal Gems but I would just like to see like more because like they've added Peridot and they've added Lapis which they've, they haven't really added I'm sorry I just yawned I'm so sorry um, I, they haven't really like mixed that dynamic all too much together in one place so uh, or at least I can't remember an episode where they did that um, but uh, on the whole I definitely think that you know I just I just wish it had a more consistent schedule because I'm struggling to remember what what even happened uh, but I do know that like with Steven there's gonna be a lot of like filler but the filler also has some sub plots in there that kind of come into play as well so I don't really mind as I say like you know I understand fillers because I use them a lot as well so I'm not gonna say much but um, you know it's, it's one of those things where you're like yeah you know you you could do do more impactful stuff and, and get your your viewers all up in their seat but you know, once the twist, once the twist was revealed, I I was kind of really really surprised. But when I when I'm thinking about it, when I'm when I'm conversing with you guys about the the whole arcing story of, of of Steven Universe, especially in this season, I feel I feel this season de deals with more about the home world and the the connection about. Um, you know the home world and the crystal gems and how everything came to boil apart. That's what happens with any revolution, really. Like there always comes a, a boiling point, and then comes genocide. That's that's why like revolutions and genocide always come hand to hand, really. Uh, like you know, at one point, like it's, it's kind of crossed. You know, once 
like a revolution happens and then they, they, they like if if uh, uh, the leaders think nope let's just nuke them all you know genocide so uh, it, there's there is steps of genocide and there is steps towards uh, revolution as well so I definitely understand why it had to be done in that way and the twist does make sense in in that direction so I don't I, it's it's a good twist but I, I can see some people like oh damn like we know they really use the old trick and book like you know the the, the, the the diamond actually is is actually you know the the person that we already know but you know it's it it's going to have a bigger impact on the crystal gems that followed her and also the people who know that okay now we know that not all now now we know that not all diamonds are evil like it's just some of them have you know had the the mindset to spend more time with the other people you know with the inhabitants of earth or you know, with the inhabitants of their colony and thus you know start to form a bond from there so you know it, it's one of those things where, where you ha really have to kind of logic it out uh, but I, I do think they really really think about these things before they they drop shit on it, it it's not it's not like the flash where uh, you know Savitar is his future barrier you know it's, it's never explained you know it's explained within the context of the show and we see, do see a build towards this twist or at least there is some ploys of logic that just this could happen um, and the only reason why I was really unhappy with the whole Savitar really revealed was that I the only twist that would really make sense is if it was a berry from another dimension like I told my friend that and he was like yeah that's a better twist because that makes sense in the context of the show like they've already you know built up that the, there is other dimension and they, they've brought in doppelgangers from other dimensions so anyway i'm not going to talk about flash because i i told my friend the, the twist and he was like what <laughs> that's a fucking poor twist and i was like yeah i told you you would not be happy just don't watch the third season because the third season is shite and i can't believe i stayed for the it's not for you guys so you know anyway um it's, it's the point i'm making here for steven universe is that there is a storyline that you really have to follow and i think this is what she got from adventure time as well because for me like adventure time is more you know like then you like more on the side quest whatever and, and there is underlying themes but they do kind of drag things out a lot and i can see rebecca doing the same thing but i don't think she has choice in this situation like probably her hands are tied i know i'm not sure i i'm not in that circle so i don't i don't know but i do definitely wish that there is more consistent you know dropping of episodes and all that anyway you know it's, it's still good when you when you have people to, to tell you that oh there's a new steven universe coming out but i have to find it out on my own because i'm not in america i don't have the cartoon network anymore i i'm not really watching tv anymore i i don't know what's coming out you know soon or not you know i have to double check and i do i have to do my own homework and all that so I have to do work to, to, to know when things are out and all that so it's it is kind of a big bag because I just found out today and it's apparently two days ago so I I don't know you know if uh, if you know anyone's gonna enjoy it because a lot of you guys have watched it already so you know but you know I thought that about the Gotham as a zone as well but you know apparently a lot of you guys like this kind of thing where I, I I, I keep it simple and, and I do redirect you to, to the reaction, the full reactions down below in the link. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
uh, please leave a like if you did uh, please share subscribe um, and all of those good things remember to go to the redirect link down below um, yeah pink diamond is, is rose quartz and my whole life is a lot so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys at Gotham probably next week and uh, yeah that's all from me uh, I will see you guys in the next video see you guys then bye